Welcome to Tom's Tech Show. Today we are connecting PowerShell and VMware. Welcome to Tom's Tech Show. I'm Tom, of course, and today we're going to install um, VMware PowerShell CLI um, onto our lab box that I have set up because um, we want to be able to connect and do things from PowerShell and manipulate our VMware environment. So the easy way is to download the VMware PowerShell program, run through the installation really quick. Um, it doesn't take too long. Installs a few things. I'll probably fast forward so we'll get the main page up and then we'll jump to the end. Okay. Here we go, we go next. Pretty easy, SEP license agreement. I just install everything, makes it just easier. So now the installation starts running. So let's jump to the end. Okay, we're at the end. Now there's one last thing we have to do and that is reboot. So we'll be right back after I reboot. Okay, now that we've rebooted, um, if you do get an error when you first install it, reboot, that will usually take care of it. Um, now we want to see what we can do with our commands. So we open up the Power CLI, get this to here. We can type in like this first command so that we need to do is connect to a server. So connect VI server. My server happens to be 192.168.1.3. Um, then it's going to ask me to log in here in a second and here we go web user if I can type okay so it's going to come back boom PowerShell is now connected um, I can do some things like get VM and this is going to show me all of the resources that I have access to with this user this user is an administration user so it's going to give me everything on the box. So this really isn't where I want to be putting the commands though. For me, I want to be able to write code and add this to my code so that I can connect to Virtual Center or a VMware host um, without having to run the v you know, PowerShell VMware PowerCLI command. So what we do is we go put in our top of our script, we put ampersand and then the location of this initialize PowerCLI environment. And we can find that directory by getting looking at the properties of this shortcut. So there's the PowerCLI, initialize PowerCLI. If we look back, then we can see it's program files x86, VMware infrastructure, PowerCLI scripts, then the initialize PowerCLI environment. So that's going to give me that command and I've also added here connect to server and we're going to update our uh, server here to be our 1.3 that's our web user and that's our password and yes the password here is in the clear there are ways to do it so it's not but for my example here we're going to put it in the clear uh, so I run this script and you can see on the screen now we're loading that Power CLI module and now it's going to connect to the server and boom now I'm on the server and I can still do get VM and it's going to get me a list of VMs but now it's in one of my PowerShell scripts it's not in the VMware Power CLI command line that you have to launch so from there I can start doing things like creating snapshots creating backups uh, creating VMs, turning VMs on and off, doing all that programmatically instead of uh, doing it through the web console or um, through the other command line. Okay, so that's how we connect it and I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. This is Tom from Tom's Tech Show and God bless.